Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to 365 Prints. Um, I 3D printed my home. Here it is. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, kitchen, dining, living, bedrooms. Here's the front door, the back door. I, I got, I can't probably, you probably can't see it here, but I got little toilets and the, and, the, and the bathtub in there. It's really neat. I dig it. Just a visual representation of my home. Um, yeah, I, so my home is here in Tucson. It's an adobe brick home. Um, it was built in 56, 54, somewhere in there. I can't remember. Um, I needed, obviously, you know, my floor plan, so I went to the city first, uh, just went online, I think I shot him an email, asking if uh, it's possible if I could get, uh, you know, a blueprint or a floor plan of my home that was built so long ago. Um, Tucson is going through the process of uh, digitizing all of their, uh, all of their paper. So um, I eventually got an email back saying that, uh, hey, everything for your address has now been digitized. You can uh, go online and, and, and get whatever you need. Unfortunately, a floor plan was not something that they had uh, on, on file. Um, I did see some other interesting stuff on there, some, some previous permits for, you know, previous owners that needed electrical turned back on after construction, et cetera. Um, but not what I really needed. I, I did post some things on Nextdoor asking about some of this kind of stuff, and some people recommended that um, there's some services that, that you can take advantage of that will come in and take measurements, and they will provide you with a, a floor plan of your, of your, of your home probably going to run you about 150 maybe 200 bucks to have somebody come out and do that. Um, I can do that, <laughs> obviously. Um, so, yeah, I broke out my tape measure and started taking some measurements of the outside exterior walls, started with that. I'm kind of lucky in that my, my home is uh, almost square, you know, almost rectangular. Um, so yeah, took measurements and uh, started uh, making some lines in Fusion 360 and eventually this is what you get. So the scale, I don't exactly know what the scale is. I, I'm not a, you know, I, I'm sure I could just figure it out with math wise, but um, so basically I, I took a measurement of say a section of wall Say this is 120 inches. Um, I'm basically taking the inches, dividing it by two, and then that's the millimeters that I'm using on my on my object. So if this was 120 inches, it's going to be 60 millimeters on on my little model here. That didn't fit on the bed; it was too big. When I, once I was all done with my model, uh, I had to reduce it down 75% for it to actually fit on the bed. So, uh, inches divided by two, down to millimeters, divided by 70, uh, times 75%. So, I'll figure it out what the scale is eventually. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm probably going to make some little furniture eventually, you know, bed and tables and chairs and desks and stuff, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I basically just kind of wanted a, a, a visual representation. Um, I, I guess that's all I got this time. Um, thanks for hanging out with me at 365 Prints. Please leave some comments, suggestions, uh, co questions. Um, Consider hitting that like button. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great day.